What's good, everybody? It's the GOAT Aaron Brown, and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I noticed something that I saw on an interview, and I just got pissed the fuck off. Because I just feel like as a grown man, there are certain things that you should do and you shouldn't do, and there are certain things you should say and shouldn't say. After the New York Grand Prix meet last weekend, there's a runner by the name of Eric Holt of the United States. Mid-distance runner, he runs the 1500, the 800, and it's like, cool, he's a mid-distance runner. But he did an interview after he raced, and he ran really well, but he did an interview after he raced, and that shit pissed me off. In his interview, he stated that I don't make money in this sport, I lose money. These shoes I got on, I bought them. These clothes I got on, I bought them. I don't have no sponsor. My biggest goal is just to get a sponsor. Let me let y'all just see the video. Listen, the shoes I'm wearing, I paid for on my own pocket. You know, I got paid for all my own shoes, all my own physio. I have to pay for everything. I lose money in this sport. I don't gain money. And that's the same thing a whole club is. And I am, the problem is I'm a little older. I just started getting good at 29 years old. So I'm just showing people that if you have the desire, if you're good enough, uh, anything happen. And my dream to make this uh, fairy tale ending is one day be sponsored. I hope to do it in my career. How you against me? Um, so I worked a job in a psych ward and I live with my parents. You know, luckily my parents are a little older. My dad's in his 70s. So even though I used to be embarrassed about it, I know I get to spend time with my dad in his older ages and uh, it means a lot to me. So, and I luckily have a very supportive girlfriend. You know, when we go out, she, she uh, pays for every single meal. And I told her when I get sponsored, I'll pay for the meals this time. And that's my dream. So, I mean, I'm sacrificing everything. I'm gambling and I'm betting my life and everything that I'm going to be a pro one day, and I hope for it to come true. I hate the fact that in track, every time somebody do an interview, it's always some sad sob story. Some people, oh, I didn't have no money. I'm living in my car, but I'm trying to run these track meets. This motherfucker, I'm homeless. I'm 30 years old. Me and my girlfriend live with my parents. I can't afford to buy no food, so my girlfriend got to buy all of us food. Firstly, what kind of bitch is fucking with a dude that's 30 years old and got no job, motherfucker living with his parents? That just goes to show the kind of bitch that he could be fucking with. Secondly, what kind of dude is he to even want to have a girl in a situation like that? This man done went to college, done got a degree. At what point do reality sink in and you realize that I, I've been doing this shit for 15 years. I, I ain't made no profit from it. Maybe I need to utilize the degree that I went to school all of these years to obtain and go make some real fucking money. I can run on the side, but I need to goddamn make some money so I can have my own damn life. Man's a fucking bottom feeder. And it's like these motherfuckers in track too busy lying to niggas like him. Hyping him up. Oh, yeah, you're doing such a great job. You're not doing no motherfucking great job. You 30 years old. At what point do your ass grow up? And I feel like that's where I come in because he needs the harsh truth. Dude is a fucking dependent. He needs a job. This shit right here isn't admirable. Then I saw a tweet. Somebody said he hasn't won anything. There is no market or return on investment on a business sponsoring him. At this level and at this time, he's already 29 years old. Most runners peak between 24 through 26. Instead of trying to root for people like this, we should tell them the truth at young ages. If you have not made it in this sport by 25 with the considerable wins, you need to move on and start supporting yourself. I can guarantee you his 70 plus year old parents don't want him living with them. It's a burden and they're ready to enjoy their damn retirement without having to worry about their 29 year old athlete in quotation mark son. And then I've seen some people talking about, oh, he being racist with people who have contracts and he be beating them. Well, guess what? He don't beat them when it's time to beat them. And more than likely, they ran fast when they were young, and that's how they got contracts. They got on teams when they were young, and that's how they got, got contracts. 
If your ass old and fucking grown, you aren't worth anything to a shoe company. Literally at 30 years old and you're seeking out your first contract, you beating some people isn't going to get you a contract. You making a Team USA team isn't going to get you a contract. You making an Olympic final isn't going to get you a contract. At 30 years old, for a shoe company to get any type of return on investment from your ass, you literally have to go to the Olympics and get a medal. Anything less than that is going to have you in your current position. So while we sitting around glorifying and glamorizing the BS that this dude is out here doing, we need to be feeding his ass the truth so he can know that I need to go get a motherfucking medal. Me and these damn races. And then even then, they was like, oh, he being racist with world champions. And he just raced the 2022 world champion, Jake Whiteman, and he fucking lost. So the opportunities he get to beat these big names, he don't beat them. You don't get no kudos for beating no American distance runner. American distance runners fucking suck. American distance runners don't get global medals. American distance runners don't stand on podiums at global championships. So that right there alone is not a neck to stand on when it comes to negotiating a contract for a shoe company. Your old road ass got to go to a fucking meet like the Olympics or the World Championship, and your ass got to go beat Jakob Ingebrigtsen. Your ass got to go beat Josh Kerr. You got to go beat Nordis. You got to go beat Mocha Tier. You got to go beat people like that at the championships. You just beating somebody at some race that don't mean shit where they got a $2,000 prize money. You ain't going to ever be shit. And I promise you, when bro see this video, he going to have a different type of motivation because he going to realize that, damn, Aaron Brown is telling the truth. All of these people been sitting around lying to me in my face, hyping me up, making me believe that I'm doing a hell of a thing and I'm a hell of a person when I ain't shit and I ain't doing shit. But like Kevin Gates say, watch your mouth, no dissing me. You know we all saw it. You say I'm fake, that's your opinion. That's just y'all story. The face the fact I was y'all blessing, but y'all ignored it. Your quest for fame had you distorted, now you accepting sorry. I'm really that, the streets are vouch. And Eric Holt is simply not that. But I'm the blessing that he need, and this is the message that he needs to hear. And a lot of y'all ignore it, but just stay tuned. Because if he hear this video and see this video, I'm telling you, he might make a team, and he might, well, he ain't going to stand on no podium because he's not beating them guys. But, yeah.